Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach Laravel 9 RESTful API with Shantam authentication. Let us show the demo. So you can see here, in this tutorial, I will be talk with you the token, how the token will be created and all the stuff I will be talk, right? So here, this is a registration page. So I am going to register the user, new user uh, as James. Email address I am going to give in as here, James. Here I am the phone number, I just type like this. Click send button. Now here, the user register message uh, displayed. Here token has been created. Here this is a token will be, will be created, all right? So here, after that what I am going to do is, I am going to log in the user. So this is a login part, right? So if you are type the invalid Gmail and password, click send button, invalid username and password, right? So if we are give the email address, this is an email address, so pass along with the password. Now you are sending. Now you can hear you are logging at the same time. This token has been created. Okay, talk why we are using the token for the security purpose, right? You are not, it will be identified the user or not, it will be create the token here. So token will be created, right? Okay, right. So here we have a registration also. We have token we have using and the uh, login, login also we have using the token, right? So we have user Santa authentication. So let's see how to do the system step by step right so let's go to the laravel official website laravel you type laravel or the documentation documentation here you have a select as a version 9 now i am going to install laravel in your machine uh, in our machine i am going to install laravel here this is the first here you can see the first your first Laravel project. So here you have to install the Laravel 9. You can copy this code. Here you just click copy. Go to your folder. So I'm going to go to app F drive. I'm going to create the one folder which is a Laravel. New project Laravel. Open on. Here go to this command. Go to the address bar, cmd or type cmd, paste on this one. Here I am going to name it as anything name, any app you have to create it. Okay. Uh, you have to create the name as uh, LMS. I just give the name as LMS. Press enter key. Now you have to wait until the project has been created. Right. So you see it will be installed in Laravel 9. You will be able to see here. Here version it will be indicated as Laravel 9. Right. But wait until the process is completed. Now you can see here the Laravel has been installed successfully. You will be able to see the application key set successfully. Now this is the app. So double click and open here. You have to select here. Type CMD. If you install the VS Code editor in your machine, you have to open on VS Code editor. Score space dot plus enter key. It will be open up all the project in, in our VS Code editor. But you will be able to see that your pro project is open up on the VS Code editor, you will be able to see here. Now what I'm going to do, this is the folder structure of Laravel. Now first what I'm going to do is, we uh, go to the app. You can see this, all the things are there. It's, uh, this one should be the HTTP. Inside the HTTP, we have to, this is the control is there. After that, this is the view. Inside the re, uh, resources folder, the view is there. Inside the HTTP here. HTTP, you can see here the app, inside the app. You have a controller and modules, right? This is MVC architecture. Right? Now, after done the stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the center. Okay, that's the authentication, right? So, how to do the task is go to the packages. Here, there are various packages there. You have to select this one, center. Click on this one. Here, it will be telling the instruction to install them. So, how to work the API token, all the stuff, it will be telling over here right so this is the things you have to install it so i just copy this one ctrl c copy back here this is your project right back here 
now what i'm going to do is here i have installed it so this i open the folder this is the folder right this is of your project folder right this is your project folder right now here i'm going to open up the term right, instead of getting the terminal out we will be using the terminal inside this project it is very easy to done the project so you're pasting what's the code you are copied you paste dot key now you have to wait until the Sangram install completed here, composer, right? So after done the stuff, you can see here it's, it's not installing, it's configuring you know, everything. Right here, installing dependency or everything. Right, all the things are done. We accept, expire, accept it. Okay, all the things are done, right? Perfect, right? After that, go back. So here, this one should be there. We have installed them. You have to publish the Santa. So you have to use this following command. Control C, copy it. Back here. Uh, back to here. This is your project term. Sorry. Click here. Paste it. That is. It will be done. Okay, here if you paste the code. It it will be done, right? So after that, uh, sorry, not here. Right, done. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is, it just it's a CLS. It's clear one. You have to here. What I'm going to do is you have to write type PHP artisan migrate. So before that, what I'm going to say, I forgot one thing. You have to open up the exam, exam server in your machine and go to the your you go to the MySQL. Here, here, here where you have to create the database. Here you have to create the database first, right? So here I forgot this one, right? Click here, DB LMS, whatever name you can give, right? Database has been created successfully. You have configured the database into your project. So how to configure? You already know. Go to the env file. The same database name you have to give. Up. LMS. That's it. Sorry, DB LMS. DB LMS. Just hit save all. After that, what you are going to do is we've done all the stuff successfully. Now we go to the you can see here the database migration. You can see here. Here the user table. This is default user table are created. Name, email address, password, all things. If you want any things to put it here as a role, you, you can as edit over here. Okay. In future video, I'll be able to uh, I uh, I'll be teach you how to create the uh, user role. Okay. In this video, I'll leave it as as it is. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to migrate the table. So PHP artisan migrate. You have to type the migrate command, right? My what is the okay, you have you have created the database, but there is no table. After run the migration command, you will see so all the tables will be. Uh, to, table has been created here preparing the table here all the table whatever table they are this all the things will be created here you can go here now we have tables okay if you see it here all the things are created this is a user okay. everything is created perfect okay now you have understood so far right perfect right now what i'm going to do is in this video i'm going to access in the restful api Right, but we have installed the Santa and configuration, all the stuff are done. Now, what I'm going to do is you can see here, go to the model, click the user model. Okay, you can see here the AP token also is there, it will be created here. Okay? So all the API related stuff, all the deal created in the Santa. Okay, right, right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the controller part over here. Okay, controller part. How to create the controller PHP? PHP artisan artisan make colon controller control name user control present key now you can see here the controller has been created you can go here here this user controller has been created perfect right perfect now what I'm going to do is here, first, 
I am going to run the project php artisan save. The project is running this. This they just copy this one. The URL. Go here and check. Now your project is running successfully. You can see the project is running successfully, right? So the same thing. Come to CD copy. Open up your browser. I am going to open the Postman. Check the RESTful API. I am using the tool which name is Postman. If you are not installed your animation, you must install the Postman. Okay. So you have to put, put this port and check. Right. So here this one should be your uh, this one the, uh, this one nothing will be displayed here. You can see here this one should be your Laravel address. Right. So I haven't created any API and everything. Okay. We'll we'll create everything. Okay. So let's back to our project. Right. Now this is your user controller. Okay. The user controller. Uh, the importance of is a model. The data is coming from the model. Via the model. After that, uh, we have we have to learn another thing is the routes. Routes. We are not using the web dot php routes at the moment. Instead of that, we have used API dot php. Why we are using API dot php? We are uh, we are established the uh, we are established the connection between the RESTful API. So we have to using the API dot php. Here we here we have, we have created the all the request right so here first what i'm going to do is you have type uh, i just copy these two things two things i'll be explained don't okay right first i'll be explained so this is the Laravel nine okay this is the our routes here we are the url if you are type the url slash your port slash is slash your type register it goes to the controller user controller this is a user controller register action method so we haven't done the action method over here so what i'm going to do is here first i'm going to add the method right so i already done this i'll be explaining dot ori this is all the source code i provide you if i right here you can see here this is a function public i have created public function register request Okay, this is request. So okay, this is the this way where the record is coming, right? So here you are register the user. Okay, right here open the curly bracket and close the curly bracket. You have to use the variable user equal new user user. Here this is the user model. Okay, this everything will be there, right? So if it is not using the this API, it, if if in your project is not available, you just go to the documentation. You will be able to get them. So here. Right here, this one I haven't done it. Right, I'll be. I want to do it things. Right, so you can get it here over here. Here, this token will be there. You just copy and paste on your model. This is must. Right, so here this one. Here, this is API. You just copy this one. Santam. We have to install the Santam and publish the Santam. After that, we have we have done the migration part. After this, copy this API. This you have to paste on the kernel. The kernel is where app http kernel.php http there's a kernel.php here there will be the uh, here this one should be the kernel uh, ipa api the api you have to paste it whatever you done that's it just save all. that's the thing you have to do it right perfect after that what i'm going to do is this is a user you have to create the variable user this is a model which is a model that data will be go through communicate with the database you can use in the model user equal name request name the front end what is the what, what is the data you are sending to the front end it's getting the request all the data first one should the name second the email after that password right after that what i'm going to do is we have to type this all the so you the, all the details we have to add it into the database you have, you have to call all the user save method okay the save method right after that, we have to access in the token. Like we have token. In order to do the token here, you can go to the documentation. How to do the documentation here? You just go to the access the token. Token part on our this is the token. Issue the token, right? Here, first you have to add the token. If, if it is not available, you have sent them in your model. You have to add this one. Here it's already there in your model. So if it's not added, you will be able. You have to use it. Use that, right? 
right so now what i'm going to do is okay so these all the following fields are there so here if you use click add button add it that's what is said so here you have to use a token this is very much for security purpose you are using the token token we have to get the variable token here to user create token we have to use api token you have to write like this so the same thing you have to do it here is there how to get the here token so return the token yes the same thing i just here you have to uh, token request a user you have to create the name of the token it will be written okay the same thing you have to do it here return 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 means this is the return we have to put in the json inside the json you have to put in the json the simple code of creating the token in laravel here there's two lines code so the two line of the code create, create the variable token equal user this is a user create token this is a predefined type so here this is api token so what is the tape name of the token right if the token is created and put it here it will create token plain test right by when the message is display user register successfully along with what is the token created it will display here that's it so 200 this is when the message is uh, when the user is created so the laravel we have to identify 200 port that's a number 200 right keep in your mind that's the meaning of 200 port, right after that here in order to do the right things we have to use this model model mean the data we are communicate with the model this model this model is reside on inside the app folder slash models models and user we have to give the namespace correctly this is this okay we are to your database the model is the part we are communicate with your database so you have to give the path then only it will be work that's it that's the thing you have to wait right now let's back to our route folder app.php here here also we have to do the simple stuff we forgot them that's it we have to give the path path mean your control is reside on where first you have to go first your register user controller you have to give the path where your control is reside use here can go to the app user controller controller inside the control folder and user controller and that's it now let's save all right now let's save all now let's check whether it's working fine or not right now let's open up your your server is running now here we have to go to this server so here's the post requests the register so we have to what is the api using register go to the yes the api api it's a register the register we just copy this one API, you have to write this API, this API, API slash register. Trending. Mm, what is the error? SQL, where's this anything error? This port is running. I uh, sorry, the problem is uh, I have it is sending, I haven't added any data. So here let's go to the body row. There's no data is there. That's why it shows the error. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Now it's the same data you have to give the same thing. Copy it. So here you have to write like this. Here open the open back and close back inside here. You have to name, e email, and password. These are the fields are there. We go back to your database here you can see these are fields are there name email password okay here the name email password the same name you have to give it here you have to give the name email and password click send button user register right here the token has been registered here now let's go back to our database browse now here you can see here the user the power username is no need to verify the uh, email address verified the password is created here is a password now here you can see here the token the personal here access token the token is created the basis the id use id here this is a user id the same id here the password token has been created you can see the token okay you will be able to see the token okay right so far right now if you want to add another name peter
password one two three four five click sending here another token has been created now here go and here the lms you can see here there you have you have, have two different users created right james and peter now we go 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 to the personal access token here the token has been created right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the authentication part so the logging part so let's go to the controller so you have to use the word auth use auth this is must use auth here yeah, this is must now let's what i'm going to do is you have to use here simply this code this simple code i have to don't worry about that i'll uh, explain public function login request request you get the request what is the username and the password you are sending out here get the request so you have to here bracket is open and close it you have to here if you have to use auth then only you will be implement this auth keyword first you have to check if not to auth atom request only request only email and password there is now three fields are there here yeah, if you go to the database here uh, your database only we are checking this one email and password only you no need verify email id no need only email and password so you have to write here only email and password it will be checked okay the email match with the password password match with the email okay if it is not match if the auth is not match error will be display as email invalid username or password okay you have this is the uh, 401 this is the error message we have the port we are running after that if the if the email address and password correct you have to check here the user variable you have created we call user this is the model user model via email comma request email first okay so here it will be checking okay if it is correct what happens is here also we have create the token token equal user create the token when you log 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 in the email address also create the token so here start, you have to send the message as user login after that he will be token is be created okay so let's when you log out so here the logout we will be uh, uh, doing later on so here token has been created let now let's check whether it's working fine or not so here let's save the code let's go here uh, now i'm going to the same code and just copy it go to the another tab this also post request this is login uh, login go to the body tag row this one also json so json so try the same thing to check the username and password matching or not user login so if you are type in invalid username or password you have to type the invalid username or password but if you are type this correct username and password only peter okay. here it's login here they at the same time the talk token has been created for security purpose this of the restful api will be work using santa okay so santa it will work right so i hope you guys you understood the things well so here the uh the ap the url you have created over here here when the routes post slash login go to the user controller login so it goes to the when the when you type the url like look like this go to the user controller login action it goes to done the stuff right perfect thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can ask me if you love my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching